What is up, YouTube? Biofusion here. So today we have another video. So I'm gonna be installing a touchscreen radio from China, of course. Um, this model is for the 13 and the 14, but as you can tell, I have a 2017. Um, it's kind of a piece of shit, of course, but uh, we're gonna be putting it in this today. So. Because I wanted to make sure it worked. And you can tell the whole dash is already completely apart, of course. You got the, the head unit sitting right here. Got all this shit right here, of course. And then we'll kind of go over it a little bit. So they send a, a harness. And of course, I can't get it out. Give me a second. I'll set you guys up here where you can see everything without knocking you over. And of course. Okay, there we go. Alright, so they sent over a harness that makes everything plug and play. And of course, you know, it plugs into mine with no problem. So we'll get everything unplugged real quick. Unplug these. So, I mean, this is kind of what everything looks like when they send it to you. A lot of wiring. I mean, a lot. So, it, it gets tricky. Um, there are a lot of extra wires um, for, like, the key one, key two, which I don't have to do that. Um, everything on mine is just plug and play. Um, I did have an issue with the backup camera at first, and then I ended up finding that out where they have this little plug right here that's for the camera, and then they have two camera ends down here, and one of these you just plug it in and it'll pop up the video. And I didn't know that at first. Um, and then, of course, you know, I had to order a cord, see if the cord worked, and then, you know, as I found out the cord didn't work, then that's when I found out that, you know, I was doing things wrong. So, um, we'll get everything kind of plugged back in. Add all the cords. That one. We've got this one right here, which goes right here. All right, and then we'll take the camera, and we're gonna do this cord right here, and we're gonna plug it in, and then we're gonna turn the car on, and then everything on the screen should be popping up. And it is an Android radio. This one is like 250, 300 bucks after uh, taxes. Um, the company based out of China sent me this one to do a video on. Um, the startup time is a little bit slow. Um, and then the shutting off after you turn the car off and walk away, it takes a little bit to shut off. Um, the company did say it's only two gigabytes of RAM. So that will explain a little bit of it. So, if you don't want something that's going to take uh, so long to start up and um, turn off, then I would suggest getting a different one. But for the time being, this one works pretty well for me. Uh, I didn't have $1,000 to get a Tesla screen, and I couldn't find a company that hit, wanted to send one out to do a review like this. Um, so, we're going to put this in reverse. I'll show you the backup camera. So there it is. So I went from a four inch screen to this. Now the picture is not as clear as my four inch screen, but it, you know, having a backup camera is gonna be having a backup camera. Um, with these cheaper models, you're not gonna get like a 4K video like you would with OEM uh, four inch screens like mine was, where it was like super clear and crisp. 
but I mean I'm okay with this this is just kind of a temporary radio of course you know until I get the Tesla screen <coughs> um, so we'll put it back in park so this is the main uh, radio screen I don't have the um, antenna adapter yet it's still coming in the mail but if you go over here to the home button that'll take you here and scroll through you can change the um, wallpaper of course and then if you come over here then you have all your apps and you can download um, different things you can put your Google Play information in you have up to two gigabytes I think it is um, two or eight gigabytes of space to download stuff so I wouldn't recommend downloading a whole lot of stuff but you can definitely download a couple apps to uh, mess around with um, so we'll uh, we'll stop the video here um, and then I will do a um, video of the music playing uh, I'm kind of one-handed so it's gonna be hard to um, videotape everything going into uh, back into the center console so when everything's put back in together we'll come back we'll get some music playing and we'll show you how it looks all right bye all right and we are back so here is basically what it's gonna look like I'm not gonna put all the trim pieces back on because like I said earlier I'm still waiting on the antenna adapter to go in so I can still get the FM and AM radio but it's gonna look pretty nice so we'll turn the car on You'll see the Ford logo pop up. And they said you can actually change this. Uh, I don't necessarily mind having that there. So, no big deal for me. And then, once it loads up, it takes a good couple seconds to load up. So, over time, I've kind of gotten used to it. I have ran it for about a week like this just to kind of see you know how well it worked that's how I know starts up slow shuts off slow um, I have had a few issues with my phone connecting to the Bluetooth uh, properly so we'll go here it should hopefully be connected and it is um, so in a sense of what I had to do to get everything set up was I had to go to the settings here and then um, I'll cover the, the password real quick but um, you have a device name and you have a pin password so uh, when you first get it the pin password is going to be 0000 I actually ended up changing mine to um, where it uh, didn't show that anymore which is good because now after I changed that my phone has had less problems connecting and uh, staying connected more uh, so let's get just some basic music going let's find something um, we'll just do this song right here and I so moving from the four inch, you know, I'm used to my uh, volume button right here. Oh, my bad. So right here, basically, so it cut off the music. So that is another uh, issue. So it'll pause your music on your phone, and then you have to hit it again, and then it'll take a couple seconds, but it plays again but like I was saying so I'm used to my volume button being right here on the 4 inch screen but it's no longer there as my camera won't stay focused um, I do still have um, controls to the radio with the the stock buttons here so that is how I turn up the volume As you can tell, that volume is super, super loud. 
So it went from, I mean, the stock four inch was okay, but this pushes out a little bit more. Um, so here in the next couple videos, hopefully I will be installing new door speakers, uh, the crossovers, I'll have eight inch door speakers custom made, and then I have two 12s that will be installed as well. So once everything's installed, then we'll do another walk around with the radio and let you guys hear it. So as for now, that's it. Um, hope you like it. Hope you enjoy. Hope this helps anybody who gets an Android uh, from China and needs help installing it or the backup camera. Uh, here is that backup camera one more time. It's not perfect, but it definitely shows everything behind you. So, I mean, couldn't ask for more. All right. You guys have a good one.